Hey there, discover a really quick way to create a concept art using a free drawing software called Alchemy. Let's jump into the tutorial. That's an Alchemy randomly generated shape and that is our result. And after watching this tutorial, you will be able to create your own concept. Looking for the new ways to get ahead in computer graphics and art? I'm here for you. Glaber Alexander of creativeshrimp.com So, have you ever struggled with creating a concept art? Just like you feel that you have lost your imagination, that you don't know where to start and what to draw. This is a creative block, my friend, and I will show you how to break through using alchemy. And basically, what you need to do is to feed some visual stuff to your brain to make it actually work. It's called an object recognition, and we are super good at object recognition. I bet you've heard about the Rorschach test. You are shown an ink blot, and after that you need to tell what do you see in this random shape. And what I want to show you is that you can create an ink blot in Alchemy and see a robot. But before you do it, take a moment and download it from alchemy.org. The installation is very simple, just unpack it and you're good to go. Let's move on to step number two, experiment with random shapes in Alchemy. I'm gonna briefly show you some tools, so you can get the taste of this software. For example, this is the default tool called Shapes. And what it does, it helps you to sufficiently randomize your stroke. So you get the random shapes, the ink blots. See what we do here? Or you can generate the shapes using a microphone. And while you draw, just uh, sing something like padam 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 anything. And you're good to go. Or you can just draw a speed shapes. And that too lets you to create something angular and very hard surface. And that's a very brief introduction. We're gonna focus on just one tool later on called Pull Shapes. And that is the X Shapes tool. And once again, you can see the main principle behind Alchemy. It just transforms your strokes into the random shapes. You play with the parameters, with the tools, and while you're playing with the tools and with patterns, your brain is trying to recognize the shape, recognize the object. And of course, you are not limited to a black color, you can paint in any color you want, you can subtract, use a negative space of the figure, and also you can use the effects like a randomize or smooth. And while I'm drawing, this effect applies smoothing and randomization to my strokes. Alright, Alchemy have so many different cool tools, but I will show you the, my favorite one. The Pool Shapes is the ultimate random shapes generator. Nothing stands close to it, even fractals. So I'm just turning off the effects and selecting the pull shapes tool. Now let's turn down the spacing to reduce the size of a brush stroke, because I want to paint many different figures on one canvas. And we have just created a robot. I think I know it's a bike. Can't you see it? It's a two wheels and something on. And that is a drone. And you can feel how your brain starts to work, how it starts to define what do you see in these ink blots, what fantasy creatures and robots and landscapes and houses and whatever. Oh, and you can select a different folder of shapes. For example, you can try to draw with the dinosaur bones. And as you can imagine, that's a hell of a fun to paint with something weird like dinosaur bones. It just takes what we do to the next level of insanity. But my favorite folder of shapes is the parts. It's some kind of a mechanical parts. It looks uh, hard surface and non-organic. And that's why it fits so well in the sci-fi concepts, like a robot concept. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the real fun begins. I'm so excited to see how the shapes just appear on the screen. I guarantee that you will enjoy this process so much when you can just draw a freeform figures, just spill the ink on the screen. And while you're doing it, at the same time, you're getting a whole bunch of ideas that you won't get otherwise. It feels like you're passing a road check test and the figures from your unconscious mind are appearing on the screen. And I see the robot in the head, the haircut of a Dracula, some kind of cybernetic bike and a whole bunch of different droids of various proportions. 
And by the way, what do you see? I would love to hear from you. After watching this tutorial, please leave your comment and tell me. All right, now the point number four. Export your ink plots. After you finish drawing your shapes, export everything in PNG, crank up the resolution if you need it, you can set the transparent checkbox to get these shapes as a transparent PNG. That's pretty much everything you want to know about export. And now let's continue searching for your concept in the image editing software. It can be GIMP, Photoshop, Krita, anything. And first of all, try to move around the elements of your image. And after you get an insight of what you actually see in this picture, start to quickly sketch your idea. It's a very rough and very quick process. I have sped up the video, of course, but all in all, this process is very quick. And it should be quick. Don't think during that stage too much. Just draw. Now let's define the basic shapes. I see the head there, uh, the shoulders, the arms. And I see that that's a robot with two arms, two legs, the humanoid. And after you get some shape, let's just create a second read of your shape. Make the whole image transparent and paint over the initial draft. This time, be more accurate and spend more time on defining the surface areas, the shapes. During that stage, you can try to establish some kind of anatomy of the, your creature. You can try to think of design elements of how it works. And that's why I added the pig in the image. Oh, let's erase it. And if you get some new idea, just follow it. For example, here I'm trying to establish new elements in this image, like the legs. Just don't feel limited by this alchemy shape. If you want to experiment, to erase something, to add something, go ahead, absolutely, and try your ideas. And I'm already so excited with that concept, I think we can make something very interesting from it. Alright, and now let's make it seem pretty. Because oftentimes you need to persuade yourself into thinking that what you created is actually good. And that's why I spent some time on polishing the outlines. And now I'm starting to add some definition in shapes, I'm playing with values and trying to establish the key light direction. And you may want to do it too, to reveal the shape and the volume of your concept. You know, it just helps you to better understand its weight, its directions, its surface normals, as geeks might say. But all in all, during that stage, you just make it look beautiful. Is the presentation of your concept art. It's not enough to just imagine something. You need to make it look all right. And if you will show it to somebody, that quality, that polish will just sell the idea of your whole concept. I know it may sound very obvious, but your robot is as good as it looks. Fine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That's our result. That's our robot that we made using Alchemy. And if you like this tutorial, please share it right now, because by doing it, you will support our blog. That was Glab Alexander for CreativeShrimp.com. Press this huge button, and we will see you the next time.